Hi, my name is Bernice Einstein and I'm from Trinancy Vale. Today, I'll be sharing essential information about COVID-19. My source comes from the World Health Organization and I recommend everyone to visit their websites. However, it's extremely important to listen to updates from the national and local authorities. So today is the 21st of April and since the outbreak is evolving, some of this information might change. What is COVID-19? COVID-19 is, is an infectious disease caused by the novel coronavirus. We don't know, since it is a new virus, we don't know much about it, but we are trying to learn as much as possible as fast as we can. Scientists all over the world are working hard to develop a new vaccine and medication for the virus. The COVID-19 outbreak began in December 2019 and has now spread across the globe. The main symptoms of COVID-19 include fever, tiredness, and a dry cough. Some people do not have any symptoms. Some experience mild cold-like symptoms, but some can get very ill and experience severe symptoms, such as difficulties breathing. Some people might not show these symptoms right away or at all, but, it's still in, but they are still able to, inf to infect people without realizing it. This is why it's extremely important that we take the proper precautions. How does the virus spread? Droplets. The new coronavirus spreads very easily from person to person. The virus is spread when a person breathes in the droplets that infected people release into the air. An infected individual can release droplets in the air by sneezing, blowing their nose, coughing, or eating. Another way the virus is spread is by touching surfaces. You can get infected if you touch someone that is infected or something with the virus on it, and then touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. This means that our hands can become the vehicles in which the virus is transported into our bodies. The new virus can survive on different surfaces for different lengths of time. For example, it survives on papers for 24 hours and even longer on plastic and metal. This means that everyday actions such as taking a taxi can put you at risk for contracting the virus. What can you do to prevent the virus? Wash your hands. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. To see a video demonstration of the proper hand washing technique and make your own, check out the hashtag, hashtag safe hands. If you don't have access to water and soap, or soap, you can use hand sanitizer, alcohol gel, or any solution containing more than 60% alcohol. Don't touch your face. Avoid touching your eyes, your mouth, and your nose, especially with unwashed hands. Cover your mouth and nose with a bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. Stay home. Stay home and avoid crowds. When you go out, stay a physical distance from other people. Avoid crowds and try to limit your physical contact as much as possible. Keep informed and follow the public health guidelines. Try to stay away from hospitals and clinics unless you need to seek care. Stay informed about the latest developments of COVID-19 and follow the advice given by your national and local public health authorities. Face masks and gloves. Follow local guidelines, but where there are shortages of masks, the most important groups to wear masks are health workers, caretakers, and individuals with symptoms, uh, individuals with symptoms and those who are sneezing and coughing. Masks are only effective when used properly and in combination with frequent hand cleaning with alcohol-based, frequent hand cleaning with alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. Is COVID-19 dangerous? The good news is that most COVID-19 cases are mild. Some people may not have symptoms at all. However, some people are more at risk at getting very ill than others. These include older people, those with weaker immune system, as well as existing health conditions. In short, everyone, including young people like us, must work together to contain the spread of the virus and protect yourself and those who are most at risk. Why is it so important to stop the spread of the virus? Let me explain. Flatten the curve. Healthcare systems have a maximum capacity of sick people that they can treat. If you can slow down or stop the spread of the virus, we can decrease the number of people who get sick and need treatment and care at the same time. This means a less stressed healthcare system, fewer hospital visits per day, fewer deaths, and fewer sick people being turned away. 
Lastly, spread the right information. It's important to share the correct information about COVID-19. Encourage others to record their videos and share it with their family and friends. And family and friends. Thank you.